Okay, Warriors, it's Victoria just wanting to wish you a Merry Christmas and hope you enjoy your holiday season. I just want to give you some reminders to look after yourself, to remember to set limits and boundaries this season where you need to, and to really take care of yourself, to do what is fulfilling to you and to leave the rest. You know, my hope for you is that you'll come through the season feeling that you get emotional connection with those that you love and that you're feeling well by the time January rolls around. And you're not like, oh my God, I overdid it. Now I've got to spend the month in bed. No, don't let that happen this year. I know I've done that in the past. And I just want to encourage you to honor your yes and your no. Honor those things that your body lets you know, this is a good thing for me or this isn't a good thing for me. That's just really important. And um, just get the cream this year. You know, I think about uh, the past years and how I really had to limit myself in the activities that I did. But you know what? It's paid off. And this year I'm doing more things than I've ever done at Christmas and having a ball, you know, cleaning out my house during the beginning of December, which was kind of crazy. And then, you know, doing that at year end before the holidays, getting all my gifts done and then getting out to events and social parties. It's really been great, but you know what? It wasn't like that the past 10 years. So I just want to encourage you that by setting the limits and what you need to do for your recovery now, you're going to find the benefit of that in the years to come. So do what fulfills you. Let this be a free pass because you've got CFS. You need to let it be a free pass to do the things that you feel are going to feed your soul, feed your spirit and that are going to be within your capacity. You know, a lot of negotiation can take place in that. And I remember back in the day, you know, it's like, and even now, it's like, if I'm going to show up to something, I may not go for the whole thing. I'm going to go for the amount of time that's going to work for me so that I stay within my energy capacity and that I continue to move forward. So I just encourage you to do that to set limits with those that you need to set limits with. Not everyone deserves your energy. And remember that, that sounds mean, but really it's so true. I so lesson I've learned through this journey is that my energy is precious and I want it to go to those that are going to reciprocate and invest in those that invest in me and I can invest in them. So remember that as you're looking at what you're doing, why invest energy in a situation that's just going to drain you of energy, right? So just be sure to choose things that are fulfilling and gonna be the cream for you. Another thing I've really enjoyed doing is creating huga in my life. And that, I started listening to this audio book called uh, The Little Book of Huga. And it's a fellow who's Danish, and apparently this is like the rage in Denmark. I mean, it's like just their way of living. And it's all about creating coziness and the richness of life. And for instance, it's like if there's a huge storm outside and everybody's inside drinking hot cocoa and talking together by a fire, that's huga. But it's really amazing how we can create little pockets of huga in our life. So like, I just really love my little blankies that I have when it's time for my meditation. I have a nice little neck warmer that I heat up in the microwave and enjoy that. And that's very huga to me. And um, the Christmas tree is huga. Like right now, we haven't even put the decorations on. We just, I enjoy it with just the lights. You know, I think it's just simplicity. So we probably will get those decos on soon. But anyway, it's about doing those things in a cozy way. Maybe build, having someone build a fire so you can come out and cozy up on the couch in the living room. You know, that kind of thing can really, moments like that can really make your holiday. So anyway, I just want to, you know, encourage you just to remember to look after yourself, listen to your limits and honor those this season. Set your intention so that you come through the holidays in better shape than you might expect. And uh, just enjoy yourself. Take time to do the things that are fulfilling for you. So anyway, Warriors, I'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. And until then, remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.